Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm Valerie, if you're new here. Hey girl, hey. Um, if y'all have not seen, let's just start start here. If y'all haven't seen my review of Keisha Anderson's book, make sure you go get a um, look at that. And if you haven't seen my reaction to her, um, her and Jeremy's uh, sit down, the sit down Q&A that they did after the book was re released, Make sure you go watch that too. But for now, let's finish watching this, okay? So let's get into it. Let's, where where do we start, y'all? Where do we start? I know, let's start with um, Ashley, Lily's. let's start with Lily's live that she did exposing Keisha. I'm not all at all surprised that Keisha was doing what she was doing in that, um, the least bit surprised that Keisha did everything that was exposed in their um, sit down that Lily did with Hazel. Um, y'all, like, the reason why we all love Lily is because Lily has taken ownership of her role in the situation. Lily already told us that, yeah, I knew Jeremy was in a relationship. He told me that, well, <laughs> relationship um we knew she knew that jeremy was in a situation she also said that um she took her she took her responsibility in the whole situation she understood that she even understood it so much to the point where she even came and apologized to keisha which she didn't owe keisha an apology an apology for what okay what did she owe Keisha an apology for? Keisha's not married to Jeremy. Je uh, Keisha and Jeremy were not in a relationship, but you know, we got a real in-depth look at Lily's character and that's why I messes with Lily. It was so long, y'all. I got DMs, people were sending me stuff. I was on Lipstick Alley reading all this stuff, hearing people bash uh, Keisha all day and i just waited i sat back and i waited because i didn't want to jump the gun i wanted to see i mean it was so many videos like every day i would just see it come up in my thread on youtube and i would be like dang they dragging keisha and you know i wanted to wait and get lily's side of the story before i went ahead and put the nail in the coffin okay because i wanted to hear all sides of the situation because i was kind of feeling like yo well this girl was uh lily was talking to jeremy and jeremy was in a situation why would she continue to still talk to him and even after her sit down when she said yeah i knew he was in a situation i still was wondering like well why were you still talking to him if you knew he was in a situation you know like why didn't you save yourself why didn't you just back away like you know what I, you're in a situation yeah you might not be with this girl but you still living with her i don't care nothing about you doing youtube for the girls because you don't got to pretend to be with her to do for this youtube channel to be with the girls like y'all that's not what it has to be she can still have her youtube channel and be a single mom there's plenty of single moms on youtube doing their thing so that was no excuse but when you actually listen to everything that transpired you if you have any emotional intelligence, if you have any any inkling of intelligence, you're gonna go ahead and and love Lily the the way and receive her the way that I did. Like, girl, like you are me. Like, we really need to like the video should have been surviving a fuck boy because like we're both we're bottle girls. Like, this is the same thing almost that happened to me. Like, this is how I ended up with baby royalty. I, working in the clubs, working in the clubs, doing bottle service or whatever, in the strip clubs, whatever. Like, you know, and then being lied to by a fuckboy and ended up with a, with a baby. Like, this nigga's a straight fuckboy, y'all. And it, it's just crazy that how that video of her letting us know everything that happened just really just opened up everything and thank god that she had hazel because y'all <laughs> yeah but anyway um the thing that really grossed me out about baby mama number one from here on out we just gonna have to say baby mama number one this is all alleged this is stuff that's been posted on the internet that i've been re then listen to i don't know firsthand just put that out there as a disclaimer i'm going to say this this one time 
just as a disclaimer i do not know if this information is true um if everything that trans transpired is true is all alleged and um that's that on that okay and i'm only saying that just from a legal standpoint because keisha swear she's handling things behind the scenes legally so for a legal standpoint standpoint that's that's what i'll say about that but when ashley showed those text messages that that girl went behind her back sent personal information things about her mental health that that crossed the line that crossed the line you were so upset with ashley baby mama number two you were so upset with her and not jeremy not the baby dad you were so upset not with the baby dad for because he's the one that owed that loyalty and respect to you and he in the book talking about some oh i ain't ever had to explain myself to somebody that won't put money in my pocket okay and you not explaining yourself or, and respecting the person that was putting money in your pocket and then i was like a little bit mad at ashley like from a friend standpoint like i'm mad at you from a friend standpoint because girl like even if he did tell you that he was doing this because it was a job there's other ways to get money she keisha gave him so many opportunities she didn't bought this man a macbook she didn't bought him a whole uh, mac laptop she didn't gave him a car she didn't gave him the clothes she helped him create the image of being a rapper i mean she couldn't give him the talent he ain't no rapper she couldn't give him the talent but she gave him everything else that could help him get to where he needs to be she tried to help him gave him a studio for him to make his little t-shirts he didn't come through with that okay so you ain't see all of that and was like mm, no like i feel that way about it but then i look at my own situation like you ain't see all that with your fuck boy and then i i understand her and i just be like i understand you boo i can't blame you i don't know like i i just don't know like and that's the depression part about it and you're so blessed to have hazel like i wish i had a hazel because y'all don't understand how depressing it is to to be in a situation with a fuck boy like this have a child with a fuck boy like this and then when you knew better when you seen that he wasn't nothing and then the another thing that disgusted me like brit is not off the hook i don't know why y'all trying to let brit off the hook like brit needs to speak up she is not off the hook and let me tell you why she is not off the hook she's not off the hook because you were kikiing with keisha you was her best friend you was kikiing when ashley didn't carry out with her first pregnancy with baby daddy okay keisha probably was bragging like oh yeah i made her get an abortion and she can uh, i made her terminate that pregnancy and she can terminate this one too but you can have your little angel faces right right but you don't care about how this girl feels you was over there kikiing telling jeremy and probably encouraging jeremy to have this girl terminate her pregnancy right Y'all was kikiing. She's talking about, oh, cause maybe cause it looked like money. Cause it looked like money. What money, baby? Y'all, y'all was kikiing about that. Yes, y'all was. When she kept that baby, y'all was like, oh, she probably kept it because it looked like I know. I know how I know how y'all move. I know how I move with my girlfriends. Even how Hazel and Ad and Lily move together, how they talk together, how they was laughing at you. Uh, uh, laughing at baby num baby mama number one and laughing at Jeremy in that video how they was kikiing that's how you Brit that's how you and baby mama was kikiing about that whole situation yeah you was you're not off the hook sweetheart you're not off of my hook like I, <laughs> I still don't like you fluid I mean like who am I not to like you for it but <clears throat> who am I who am I but a viewer and an outsider on this situation? But I will tell you, I don't like no stuff like that. And it ain't no coming back with, from, from that. It ain't no coming back. It ain't enough apology videos in this world to make up for that character. Because even if my friend came to me and said, yo, um, yeah, she needs to no longer have that pregnancy. And she already... Um, 
she already terminated one pregnancy she should have just terminated this one or she didn't terminate this one because of, because it looks like money like you were sitting there entertaining that conversation then you got on the on youtube on your platform of thousands of subscribers and said what you said and you meant that you said that shit and you meant that shit and that shit ain't got to slide with me because that's your character I don't care what you do consistently is who you are. And you will sit up there having your friends back. Oh, she ain't have nobody to take up for. I wanted to have her back. That's how you have her back? By tearing somebody else down, saying stuff like that, saying stuff about an abortion. You didn't cross Keisha. Baby mama number one has crossed too many lines. Too many lines. Too many lines. Like you, you told that this girl had, you know, you talking about her reproductive situation what she chooses to do with her body then you went to some stranger you went in their dm some stranger and and gave personal information photos photos videos talked about that girl's mental health to a stranger and then told her not to say nothing what you give her that information for if you ain't want her to say something what you get that information to a total stranger for if you didn't want her to bring that up you cross too many lines. You cross and you deserve everything that's coming to you because before you put that book out, that little pamphlet, that short story, that novel, whatever you want to call it, the hood story, before you put that information out, y'all, I'm like, me talking about this, it's crazy how emotionally invested that I feel like I am only because I can relate to Ashley so much with my situation. I haven't even told my story. I haven't even told my story, but I, I just looking at this story just has me 38 hot. Like I'm mad. I'm upset because before that book was put out, you, baby mama number one and baby daddy was kicking in that little bed, in that bedroom. Like, oh yeah, the book is coming out. It got X, Y, and Z in it. Then, you know, your subscribers, I don't understand them because they, they sitting up here talking about, oh, you know, they have your back, but you knew about this whole situation before the book came out you wrote this book to sell the scandal you didn't write this book this book wasn't something that was in the process to talk about your exes this this book girl who do you think what you think you're doing you need to stop watching girlfriends you need to stop watching uh the first 48 whatever it is that you're watching on lifetime or 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 um the, the game or whatever it is that you're watching you need to stop watching it because what how you thought you was about to sell this story, twist it the way that you wanted to twist it, monetize it, and then tell this and tell baby mama number two not to say anything. Thought that she wasn't gonna have her, her have her day to say what needs to be said. Like who do you think you are? And y'all don't be paying attention. Y'all little her little minions, her little subscribers. Y'all don't be paying attention. In one of Keisha's video, her baby mama's number one's videos, one of her most recent videos, she said, I need to learn not to be so controlling. She be telling on herself, if you listen to people, y'all don't listen to people. Y'all so quick to run your mouths and be um, emotionally invested and not mentally, intellectually invested. Y'all don't listen. She said, I need to um, not be so controlling. I'm always trying to control everything, which was basically shown to us you was trying to control when ash uh baby mama what number two was about to bring augie over there you was trying to control how uh baby daddy was about to have a relationship with his son you tried to hurry up and have a baby after you knew that he had a baby on the way with uh baby mama number two you tried to hurry up and have your own son like girl with the man who's not even with you, you knew this man didn't want you. Then today you made a an apology video. You knew where you basically said, "I knew this man didn't want me, but I tried to force him to be with me." And you got three kids, girl. That's gotta be tough. That's tough, baby. That's tough to have to like take care of three kids that you created with the man that don't want you. You you wanted to create this image that bad that you this is crazy you, you got to get some help this is not this is this is crazy to sit up and try to create a family with somebody who does not want you but you swear that you want the best for your angel faces but you would sit up here and purposely i mean i know 
a situation is not guaranteed to work out, even if you were married and, um, you know, you tried to do it, you did it a different way, hype, but you know, like quote unquote, the right way, even if you were married and you did it the right way, there's still a possibility that something would happen and, and the guy wasn't going to act right. But you already knew from the get go that buddy didn't want you, that buddy wasn't going to act right. And you still chose to procreate with this man. So you chose for your angel faces to be brought in this world. This is a choice that you made. That's that's the thing that I'm struggling with. Like you, you know, it's 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 lots of single moms, but I'm not, you know, like you chose to be a single mom, but you swear that you want the best for your kids and you wanted the best for your kids, but you made these decisions. Instead of realizing, oh, he really don't want me, let me find somebody that wants me, that wants to create a family with me. That, that's the part I'm having trouble understanding. That's the part I'm having trouble accepting. I need a sip of water, like, girl. Because what? <sighs> Ooh, child. The ghetto. The ghetto. Because you claim you, 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 baby mama number one, swear so much how she cares about her children, but her actions are showing otherwise. Your actions are showing otherwise. You just want to control something. You want to have control over something. Or control over this man. And that, that this man does not want you. You did all of this. You did all of this. And we got to see it. We got to see it. You don't listen to nobody. I've been on Lipstick Alley reading pages after pages after pages. Everything that they be saying be checking out. They be like, oh, baby daddy don't ever be around. He only around when she doing something for him. You know, and because to be honest, I had not been really been watching this girl until after that whole book situation came out, y'all. I wrote, I did that book review because I, I'm a new YouTuber. Um, it was an opportunity for me to kind of get out there, get seen. Thank y'all for supporting that. I didn't mean for it to be anything negative. I seen what I seen and I said what I said. And to be honest, I didn't even read the whole book before I did that sit down that before I did the review on that book I didn't read the whole book before I did the um, review on it but I I'm the type of person I can fill out vibes I can fill out a situation I actually listen to what people say and then I can give feedback and that's how I was able to give a good book review and after I actually read the whole review and then listen to the sit down and now after I'm hearing what Ashley uh, what Lily with baby mama number one is showing us it's like it's all adding up. It's all adding up. You, girl, I don't understand. I don't understand why, why, I don't even understand how baby mama number two was even having so many conversations with baby mama number one, just like Hazel said. Because it, it would have been no conversation. I don't have no conversation with my with my being my ba my baby daddy's other baby mamas. We don't have no conversation, and his other baby mama hates me for it. But we ain't got nothing else to talk about, girl. We ain't got. I ain't, I ain't have a child with you. I don't even gotta say hi to you, and and I don't even care about any of the other kids. To be honest, not in a disrespectful way, but when I say I don't care, this there I don't care because it's none of my business. I only, I'm only concerned about my child and, and her relationship with her dad. What you got going on and what the other kids got going on is none of my business. It's not any of my concern. I don't have any, I don't wish them any ill against them, but this is none of my business and I don't care, to be honest. But I, I feel like Lee, baby mama number two was too, too involved in, in getting too, um, too involved with with baby mama number one like for what you don't owe her anything you being way too nice you being way too nice and i feel like she's still being baby mama number two is still being way too nice and going way too easy on them because she still has feelings for jeremy she or baby daddy y'all but she even said like i there's in her in her uh receipts video she said how could i not love baby daddy when he's the father of my son that right there let me know 
that she still loves him. And I'm telling you, girl, right now, that man does not care about you. And this is where Hazel got it wrong. Hazel said, oh, his love for, uh, in, in Paris's live, I think it was yesterday or something, Hazel said his love with Ashley created a son. His love with Keisha created girls. Uh, this is where you got it wrong, Hazel. Because you got a lot of stuff right. I mean, almost everything right, except for this right here. This man don't love nobody. This ain't love. This is not love. Love does not, if he loved Ashley, if he loved Lily, he would have cut ties with baby mama number one and kept it strictly to the kids and went ahead and created a life and been with exclusively with baby mama number two. If that's if that if he truly loved, he would have lived in his truth. He wouldn't have been using baby mama number one for everything that she had and still doing whatever he wants to do on the side. Still having your friend on an emotional roller coaster. You can tell from the text, she was like, We're not finna do this. I'm not finna play these blurry lines with you. Okay? That that's not love. And I know, um, Hazel was just, she was on a roll, y'all. She was just, she was going in. So I know she just said that. She said it so fast and she was saying so much. I know she had just said that because she was on a roll. And that's probably not what she meant. She was just, she was just talking. But y'all, that, that's where you got, that's, that's one thing I did not agree with. I was like, you don't love nobody. You don't even love himself. Because if he loved himself, he would have took those advance, the, 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 um, opportunities that were afforded to him to advance his career he would have took that and made something out of himself now look he been washed up and put out uh baby mama number one still making videos she didn't make an apology video this morning basically she did that to let us know she's still about to do youtube this is how she makes her money she ain't going nowhere she about to say i, I apologize ain't nobody perfect and she about to keep on doing what she doing basically he the one that's washed up and put out he could have started his own youtube we didn't see him which he's then did now but we didn't see he been on her channel long enough he had a lot of opportunity to do what he needed to do okay and i, I these people that's on paris's live that's trying to say that they don't understand why people are coming for Baby mama number one, we're coming for baby mama number one because ba first of all, she's being manipulative. What part of that don't you understand? What part of that don't you understand? She's sitting here trying to get other people to do her dirty work. What part of that don't you understand? Sending messages of personal information to people that she does not know. S messaging this girl when it's not her place. Why are you messaging baby mama number two? It is not your place. You and Jeremy are not married. You and baby dad are not married. You're, you're a BM too. Just, you're a BM. Y'all on the same level. Y'all got the same credentials, okay? Why are you messaging her? Why are you trying so hard, you know, to get this, this, this girl's son over to your house? For what? Why are you trying to, now you're trying to force her to fit into your narrative. Then you sat down and had a whole... Q and A and tried to oh she tried to get um trying to make it seem like she got a one up on me, what? Y'all she said that y'all seen that sit down video yeah trying to make this girl seem like she had a one up trying to make it seem like this was a one night stand, trying to seem you know like she was a slide or something and he going along with it because Jeremy is dumb baby daddy is dumb okay that's just all it is to it he one of them dumb dudes that think they you know that got to be with a girl he got to be with a girl that's smarter than he is a, you know a little bit smarter than him he think Keisha is smarter than he is that's the funny <laughs> that's the funny part so he got to be with a girl like her and then she was like hey we're gonna write a book and try to explain everything I already knew that book was gonna be trash when I seen one vlog and he was like yeah I've been um, writing my part of the book in my notes on my iPhone. I was like, oh, this book finna be trash. Is he writing this book in, on his iPhone? Oh, this is finna be trash, but whatever. Carry on. So, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, y'all. He, she's, she's the mastermind behind that book. She's also the mastermind behind that, that Q&A sit down that they did. Like, girl, what? Girl, what? Are you serious right now? You thought that was a good idea? You got to stop watching these shows and thinking that you about to do what's on TV, girl. This is real life. 
You thought you was going to be able to create the narrative and say everything that you wanted to say. And, and we was never going to find out the truth. Or we was going to find out the truth. I was just waiting for the truth to come on out. Now I'm just waiting for Jeremy to tell his side of the story. How she begged him to stay. How every time he tried to leave, she probably threatened to, you know, do. she threatened to have unstable mental health. And something was wrong with the girls or something like that. I'm waiting for him to tell his piece. But all in all, baby daddy is wrong because even though he was using her for uh, the lifestyle that she afforded him, why bring children into it? Why? That's where I feel like he was wrong at. That's where he should have just left the situation. You already told her what was up. You already told her how you felt. You even said it in the book, y'all. A lot of y'all, I the my review of the q a didn't get as many views as the book did it got a lot but it didn't get as many if y'all would have listened to my review of the q a you i'm basically saying the same thing i basically said what happened before lily came out and said what happened i already told y'all who he was and how he moving girl listen what else is there to say what else is there to say y'all Sound off in the comments. I don't even, ain't even nothing else to say. He washed up. He washed up. She needs to get herself together. I, I'm, she needs to get herself together. I haven't really been a supporter of hers in a very long time. Like I said, I did the review on the book because it was convenient for me. It was something that was going to get me some attention at the time as a new YouTuber. And then like... <laughs> It's crazy that it has really gotten this far. I haven't really made a video on her since the book because that's not what this channel was about. But like after this um, came to came to light, it's like I got, I, I want to say something. I want to say like, girl, are you serious? Some ain't right. Some ain't right. Your mama, how you pay your mama to to be the nanny and she ain't cooking? She there all day. She need to be cooking meals and cleaning up. Okay, you ordering meals from the chef. <sighs> I'm not finna go there with that, cause I'm not finna go there with that. But y'all, this don't make no sense. It really doesn't. And actually, Lily needs to put that man on child support. He's not taking care of the child. What I will say about child support, a lot of people be like, "Oh, I'm not putting somebody on child support from somebody that has raised a whole child by themselves." And started over with another child in the first the first child I was like told not to put him on child support it wasn't culturally accepted to put the dad on child support always oh, ruining the black man no the black man is ruining his own family by making not being a, a father we're already single mothers take you need to be doing just as much as I'm doing for this child or you need to be doing if you're not you're gonna have to come up off them ends Financially, and if you're not gonna do it willingly, then you need to be on child support and made to do it. Okay, you need to put him on child support because it's not fair for you to have to be away from your son. And when you're away from your son, he's not with his father who could be taking care of him safely and doing you know, he's knowing that he's well taken care of. You got to find somebody else to do it. You got an inconvenience, and it may not be a total inconvenience because they are family, but. This is where the dad needs to step up. And if he's not stepping up and you need to pay somebody or compensate somebody to take care of your child, then you need he needs to pay for that. He needs to pay for the time that you need to be away from your child. He needs to pay for half of your rent. He needs to pay for half of everything. Because why not? And if he think that it's a problem, then he should have just had kids with just one person. He should have had kids and stayed in the same household with one person so that way he can only have to split bills with one person if it's a problem. Why Why you gotta buy a whole crib? Why you gotta always buy all the formula? Why you gotta always buy all the diapers and he just help out when he feels like helping out? Ain't no way. Put him on child support. I don't feel no type of way about it. Put him on child support, period. Period. Put him on child support. He needs to be giving you that money. He needs to be so he needs to be either there presently and taking care of that child is just as much as you do and affording him the life that you afford him or he needs to be on child support and if he's not 
helping you do all of that and you got to work extra hours because you got to pay all your rent because you got to pay all your light bill because you got to pay somebody to help with baby Augie then he needs to be paying for half of that and that's just that on that and I'm gonna leave y'all here because it's just so much to be said y'all can carry on the conversation in in the comments it's so much to be said it is so much to be said but it is is it can't happen here on this video <laughs> But y'all be easy. Thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog. Y'all be easy. It's been real. Peace.